It is May 20th, 2023. I'm at the Georgia Southern Armstrong University's walking path. And the, these are the small flower pawpaws that I discovered two years ago now. There's a wooden plant marker here that I stuck here in case anybody else wants to find them. But these were completely trapped to the ground last time they came through here for maintenance. So this is all brand new growth. You can see the gradient going from light green at the top to darker green as they mature. So small flower pawpaws, like all pawpaws, have a leaf bud at the end. This one, it's very clearly a folded up leaf. This one shows it a little bit better, but as you can see, the leaves have smooth edges, no serrations or teeth. And one feature to tell small flower pawpaws from common pawpaws is the way the stem turns a uh, cinnamony orange color this time of year. So you can see at the top here, it's still green, and then as it goes down, it turns brown. This one is sort of solid orangey brown all the way down because this is all new growth. You can see like right there, it's got that orange color. Makes it really easy to find at the right time. And then at the base of each of these leaves, there's big round flower buds that will open next year. And another way to tell, if you see all these leaves, well right now they're all facing this direction, which that's, that's that way south. So all the leaves are facing south for this example. But if you notice, all of the leaves are on either the left or the right side of the plant. None are on the back of the front. So that's a really good way to tell them apart from magnolias, which can look similar, and maybe tupelos, but I'm not very good with tupelos yet. And I just spotted a common persimmon seedling back there. That's a persimmon back there. So that's cool. <laughs> So somewhere in these woods, there is a mature fruiting persimmon tree, and I have yet to find it. But anyways, these are small flower pawpaws. I'll turn the leaf around so you can see it. And this one didn't... I can't remember if this one had fruit last year. But this plant is old enough to fruit as long as it doesn't get cut down again. And if it does fruit, it'll do so next year in 2024. Alright, that's it. Bye-bye.